Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. In part three in our series on Childerborn and Morgan, Joe Morgan is able to walk me through the workshop to show various aspects of their bespoke construction process. One of the things that impresses me most is their absolute commitment to the craft and the incredible work that they're able to produce. I hope you enjoy this visit. I guess, you know, describe where we are. Where are we right here in the process? Well, this a gentleman, um, he selected um, a blue um, worsted for a dinner suit. And what we're doing is now is that um, we've marked um, the um, pattern on the cloth in chalk. And now what we're doing is we're mark stitching it with um, this thread. And this thread is, um, is a special thread because it has um, like a, um, it's not clean cut, it's just like a frayed edge. So mm -hmm. it stays in so that what happens, we cut these threads pull the two pieces apart so we have a facsimile so that we can work on both pieces so that when they go together they are both the same. It's really important to us. And then um, we have another based in cotton which is more clean cut which we use for sewing but this is specially for, um, for just for mark stitching. Yeah. And so at this point you've drafted the pattern, the paper pattern already. On, yes, right? the, which is the paper pattern yes, is, uh, um, is here. So we've, this we have two embrasses normally in our pocket mm. in our jackets with tabs and buttons. Mm. We have a small ticket pocket which one can put a pen in um, and then we have um, other pockets in there but this gentleman wants two of each so, so we, we've got two embrasses, um, ticket in the left facing, ticket in the left um, um, facing and another one underneath that then one in the right and again it's like when you're traveling do you have like problems sometimes with longer yeah. airline tickets mm -hmm. or other things. We have the pocket that goes up on the inside so it tucks everything in so it doesn't stick out. Yeah. And then we're having like pockets here, pockets here, pockets here, pockets here. So, you know, he's having a lot of pockets, but this is what the gentleman well, that's wants. That's like a safari is, jacket almost. What, well, almost, but he's going to wear it as a dinner suit. And you yeah. think, my goodness, hold on. Yeah. So um, with this element here, you can see that the mark stitching is there. It's going to be um, cut through, opened out. So when the two pieces are pulled apart, they're exactly the same, so that everybody can work on them. So as the um, the actual cloth grows into the garment, mm -hmm. it'll be exactly the same. This is, this, uh, this is our Irish linen. This is our um, summer model. So if you if one's out and about, you wouldn't wear braces for this because it's too um, too warm. So if you had a weight loss, um, we have these side strap buckles that we just pull in to adjust for um, for any weight loss. And again, everything's by hand. We've stitched everything here by hand. The pockets are. Um, are sewn in by hand. Um, we pipe this little edge here. The zip is sewn in by hand, um, and it's um, it's something. There's a lot of handcraft that get, that goes into us to this for us. Yes, we weren't happy with um, the waistbands that traditional traditional tailors use. So now we create our own, and we, now we um, we all our waistbands are one and three quarters wide. So it's you know it seems wide, but it isn't wide. But um, to do that, we have to make. Um, this inside here, which is a, what they, one calls a band stiffener, we add another quarter of an inch on at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and then what we do is we um, to save it being sharp and coming through and being uncomfortable, we cover it with canvas. And also, um, because this is so rigid, we cut this in and we shape it. We shape it so that it goes around the body and goes around the waist. So it's concave, like so. It's, it's, wow. a, it's a real special. So how many pieces is the waistband? Um, the, the, the actual waistband proper, you, one has a cloth, mm -hmm. then we have um, the, the, um, the um, canvas. So you cut it in order to create the shape? Oh yes, yeah, there are, there are, that, there are like one, two, three, four pieces wow. that go in there to create that to sort create of one the band. Crescent. Yes. Yes. So then it's cut in all these different sections. So, you know, we keep this section quite flat and straight, then this curves right way around. And also over the pleats, because we want our pleats to be full and, 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 and voluptuous, mm -hmm. and we use fullness over here. And that again is a skill in its own. It's like yeah. the sleeve outside. You know, you use fullness in that sleeve, but it has to be hanger friendly and look good primarily. Otherwise it's not, um, it wouldn't be acceptable. And that's the whole idea of, you know, drape mm -hmm. and, um, and the fullness of the, um, the cloth with the other elements to make mm -hmm. it look good looking. You go to Milan and you see the young people walking along and someone will drop a wallet and they'll have to get a passerby to come along and pick the wallet up because the trousers are so tight they can't bend down. You yeah. think, my goodness, is this fashion? Yes, it is. And you know, it's, you have to be part of it. You have to be visual and be focused on it, but it isn't the fashion or it isn't what we do because we make gentlemen's clothes. And that's really very important to us. This is an imbrass that, we're, um, that Laura's working on. So th this is going through the stages. So it's not as if, you know, we, we 
<laughs> we send out the pockets somewhere yeah. else. You know, they're actually being made and they're being worked on here. And again, we, we offset these so they're not all the same length because it's much thinner when it goes together. Okay. So, um, so it just helps the drape. Yes, yeah, and helps the, um, helps it. It's like when you put all these ingredients together, you know, there are thicknesses and fabric has certain thicknesses. But what we want to do is you know, make it all thinner and fine so that you don't get this big, huge, rigid jacket. It's, it's controlled, yeah. which is really important. And, and so this jacket's been basted together, but none of it's been actually, it's just a temporary Stitching, oh yes, this right? is, yeah. What will happen after the fitting? This will get ripped, ripped smooth, get smoothed out, and then it will be developed to the next stage. And um, so there's no compromise. It's all very, very precise, and it's all very um, how it ought to be for us, mm -hmm. particularly. And this is our double breasted model. Well, what is this piece right here? Well. The thing being is, what, what, again, with our, within our structure, we keep this high armhole into the waist, and then we like to flare it out. So consequently, sometimes the waist, the flare buckles. So we just put a piece of canvas in here to support it. So it just has that nice sort of look, particularly on double rested. Wow. It's just an additive that we like to, um, to work with. Beautiful. And people don't know, but the thing is, again, it's, you, we want clues to, to sustain themselves, and that's really very important. Yeah, and it's creating kind of a um, longevity and a, almost a ruggedness to the structure yes, and the shape. Yes, yes, yes. So like that, you know, the moment you sit down, the jacket just doesn't completely crumple and no, no. Know, I think um, we we'll want our jackets to um, to sort of react to everyday wear, which they do. But we also want it to sort of bounce back, so mm -hmm. that um, if it is abused and thrown in the back of the car, and you know things get thrown on the top, you can give it a shape and we can get our people just to steam it over again and it bounces back. Bounces right back. And sometimes you, know, you can be wearing a, a suit through the winter and you've had your top coat on it all season and then you come back and you think, oh my goodness, you know, this is, just needs a press. And it's like when you know, we, we press it, we press it on the sleeve board with pads, so it just makes the jacket just feel just that mm -hmm. more elegant. Again, and more like yours, which is really very important. And you guys bring in the, the waist, like kind of pinch it at the waist also oh, yes, to kind of yes. create that silhouette? Well, again, when I first started, and again, some people still do it, um, this section here on single-breasted and double-breasted, we cut a, um, a sign body. Okay. And that's really um, from the early days. If you were riding, when you were sitting on the horse, you wanted it to fit into the waist, then you wanted to flare over the, um, mm -hmm. the seat of the, um, and the saddle of the horse. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the way we cut all our clothes. Now. Okay. So when I was um, starting with Tommy and Edward, um, they wouldn't have, they, they had a side body, but all the other companies didn't have the side body. And so that's that extra piece. This, of, this panel in here, yeah. yeah. It's an extra seam. So okay. one thinks if, if this was just flat, mm -hmm. you'd take up your front dart and then your, your um, underarm dart here, but you can only take in like a quarter or three eighths on the double here because you'll get a blip where the pocket is. Mm -hmm. But now we can take it in as much as we wish in here and then flare it out here so that it has that elegant sort of look when it's on. Wow. Well, Joe, thank you so much for having it's me. It's been an absolute joy. Yeah, I mean, my pleasure. I'm just, such an honor. It's, um, it's something that, um, you know, we've had conversation and chats yeah. today, and let's hope we can have many more, yeah. because I think good things come of it. Yeah, absolutely. And especially, you know, you understand what we do. Thank you so much. It's so flattering to hear from you. It's and a pleasure. I, I think you guys have something really special we try you know, going hard. on here. So. Very hard. Yeah, I look forward to staying in touch. Yes, yeah. most definitely. Yeah, most thank definitely. You. Yeah. Again, welcome uh, to London. Okay. Yeah, cheers. Thank <laughs> you.